In this video, we're going to discuss the Traverse Editor tool in Civil 3D. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool to display mapping information and get closure data on some survey information. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and move up into the ribbon bar, the home tab, and the drop down for Traverse under Create Ground Data. We're going to select Traverse Editor. And inside the Traverse Editor, you will see there are options for creating your traverse information. So the first thing you need to know is how you want to create that information, whether you want Civil 3D to draw points and lines, points, or just lines. For this instance, I'm going to say just lines. And then how do you want to create your traverse? Do you want to do just lines or lines and arcs? I want to show you guys lines and arcs, so I'm going to select lines and arcs. When you start traverse data, what you want to do is you want to tell Civil 3D at what point are you occupying when you start your traverse? So your occupied point, you can either type in a point number that is inside of Civil 3D, or if you select the button to the right, uh, you can pick any point inside of your drawing. So I know I wanna start at point 3001, which is this upper corner of the parcel that we've been dealing with in our drawings. So I'm gonna hit 3001 and I'm gonna hit enter. And so Civil 3D is gonna compute where we're starting our traverse and I can now choose what my backside angle is. And so for those of you who aren't familiar with survey, um, a backside is just where your survey equipment is pointed to before you start surveying your circulation route for your traverse. So we're gonna go ahead and type in a backside angle of 25. Um, this is just, I'm just throwing these out as uh, examples because we're gonna go ahead and do a different way of creating a traverse in a second. So if you wanted to move from that traverse start point to a line, you can put in line information. You can also put in another point. You could traverse to a specific point. You can do a chord arc, a radial arc, or a side shot. So I'm going to go ahead and do a line, and then my next point will be a chord. Actually, we'll do a radial. And so in the line, you can set the angle that your line is at. So say we wanted our line to go north you could put n for north and hit enter then you could do a distance of for example 345.2 feet and you can see a line is created at 345.2 feet long heading north and then we move on to our radial arc our radial we could say our radial is headed east and our radius is 350 feet and our delta angle is 35 degrees, 24 seconds, two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and that's gonna draft in the radius for us. And then we tell it we wanted a length of 214 feet. And that draws in our radius, and we can move on to the next points from there on out. But that would be if you had traverse data if you already have a parcel drawn in, you can actually bring in that, that PL from a polyline or some sort of civil 3D object by importing an object, load from entity. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna close out of this traverse, I'm gonna discard changes, and I'm going to select the line that was created. I'm going to delete that, and I'm gonna jump back in traverse, go to traverse editor. I'm going to load from entity, I'm gonna go into the window and I'm gonna select my polyline that makes up my property boundary. And Civil 3D is gonna run through the computations of what these arcs are, what these lines are, and it's gonna spit out the data for that parcel that's up above that I've highlighted here. So what we can do with this data from here is we can get the information of what the different bearings are on the lines, what the radiuses are on the arcs, what the deltas and lengths are. But we can also save this data. So if we go to save, we can save it to a location inside of our computer somewhere, and we can save it as a, I'm gonna save it as partial data, and click save. Inside of there, once you have saved that data, you can do a balance on this and you can figure out what your degree of closure is. So we're gonna go ahead and load the balance of that data that we just created. So we're doing parcel data. That was what we saved to our location in our 
somewhere on our computer. And then from this traverse adjustment data, we can generate a report. And so if we generate a report with current adjustments, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna save that adjustment report to the same location that we saved our traverse to. And we're gonna go ahead and click save. And if I go to that information and I pull it up, what you will see, I have a traverse adjustment report that's been created. I go in ahead and open the one that was in the drawing folder where I had saved it to. And inside of this traverse adjustment report, you can get all of your information, your point information, line information, arc information, as well as your error distances, your error direction. You can get your degree of closure. And all of this information can be then copied and paste it into a Word file and edit it as you need to do to submit a traverse report for some municipality.